So, boom! Hey, man. We got that boy Will Diddy back in the building, bro. And it's looking like Gangaroo decided to take on the 600-pound life challenge. I gained 400 pounds of the day, man. We finna peep this as always, me on Twitch. If you're not on Twitch, you're missing out, twin. I'm not gonna lie. But, all that being said, bro, let it go ahead and let it peep. For the next 24 hours, I'm gonna be wearing an obese suit to experience how hard everyday tasks and activities would be if I were oh, nah. 600 pounds. <laughs> Let's see how it goes. <laughs> when I got the BBL well, and the front unit. Oh. Flap and Flossum, what's that? This nigga got double Z titties. Well, yo, I really done transformed into Diddy Gang. What's going on? Now, that's for sure. What's going on, and, uh, bro? Why he took on a woman deal? Rushing that's not even like, bro. Actually. I've yet to see even what I look Rick like. Rick Rosby right look better than that. I can't even see the steps. Oh, this is crazy. You definitely can't see oh your meat when you look down, twin. That is all. insane. This is like a look into the future after a two-week all-inclusive cruise. <laughs> I think I took the bulk too far. This Why is if a have double, double Z's though. The size of my pants that I'm wearing are 8XL. Oh, no. I didn't even know that existed. Today is all about completing tasks of the expected and the unexpected challenges of being obese. And it all starts right here in our home, just doing some regular old chores. So I got a list, and let's get to it. Time to make the bed. Okay. I really have to get used to my circumference right now. Like this. Oh, man, I got to that tip, tip up the Going steps. up the stairs, each individual step required Jeez. so much more effort than normal, and I was already dripping sweat. How many pounds of padding is that, though? Welcome to the bedroom, which is now a missionary free zone. Oh, yeah. God, oh. You might just have to let her count oh, here, go Ain't no way. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you definitely can't just roll out of bed. I gotta, like... Strategy. Yeah, it's really energy. like POV no. queso. I think I might need your help. Oh, no, he can't even do a sit up. Damn! I'm oh, actually damn. Feeling physically exhausted from just trying to get out of bed. Oh, yeah, that's a long day. This is bad. Oh. Why, why is that how every 600 pound life video will start? They always start starting The simple the task of just making my bed somehow bed, became literally. incredibly difficult. Yeah. 136 beats per minute. Literally just making my bed right now. <laughs> Swing got a six pack on his back. Damn. Oh, bed right. made. There you go. Next up, unloading the dishwasher. I don't even like to do it normally, and this was yeah, just a whole new level. Really Every time I bend down, bro, I might have to do this, bro. Just for experience. And even to get to this point, it's making me wonder how many more dishes I would have to do. All right, yeah. Reaching to put a glass Damn. away is no easier. <laughs> the little T Rex arms. Oh. There you go. You look bigger than that, so crazy. You probably eat like a lot. This is a diabolical bill. Whoa. You can't just like sit yeah, down. You have to like for show. For show, for descend show. with grace. Yeah, this is great. Yeah. Holy you go shit. Go too hard, you're gonna break the couch, gang. I shouldn't have sat down. Zay, you should do this for a vlog. I gotta know where you got the suit at, bro. Got Think about doing your table and you're giving your dad a piggyback at the same time. You're bending down to wipe the table and your dad's just blowing your back out. I don't even swear. Yeah. same time you're bending think about doing your table and you're giving your dad a piggyback at the same time you're bending down to wipe the table and your dad's just blowing your back out yeah he got it he got it right <laughs> you got it, i don't baby. even sweat at the gym Tell me, bro. i'm sweating making the bed and cleaning the table but the wifey should be here soon so this should be interesting what she thinks to get to 600 pounds what did i just say bro There's a lot of food and you got the queso bill, bro. Here go another 2 p.m. member. I remember Twitter had the little ice cream. Yeah, the little ice cream, bro. Calories that I need. I used an online calculator, which put me just under. Twitter had the whole ice cream truck. I will never forget. 
4,500 calories as a maintenance, which is low-key lit. Like, I would love that for myself, but unfortunately, I can't do that. So I'm thinking we're gonna make just a traditional American breakfast. It should keep me full for about an hour or so. We got some bacon, got some hash browns. When there's hash browns, okay, you just know actually, man, it's gonna be a good day. Maneuver, and a couple though. fried eggs. <laughs> Let's get it. Because this is a case of made 600 pounds for 60, not 60, six years. That's why. This is Will's first day, he gotta get used to it. Yeah. Oh, no, fuck it, he finna OD. He finna OD off the hash browns there. Ain't no picking that one up. Yeah, you ain't. <laughs> Twin, you know, ain't no picking that one up, Twin. I, I know you came in that far. That if anything drops on the floor, can't pick it up. It is now to me. Yeah, not even worth it. Not even worth it. It's really starting to like make me feel sad. Just thinking about how this is some people's realities like every single day to just even... But it gets to a point, wow. bruh. You would think maybe once you get like 300 pounds, you're like, all right, maybe I should start losing weight. I had to bend over and take a break because yeah, I was physically Dr. and mentally not running out of steam. Keeping the fiber and the liquids to a minimum today because this was decently difficult to put on. Although I did not hire. Yeah, like, why did he, like, y'all see the titty pads? Why did he put the, 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 the titty pads on, though? Hunter or gather <laughs> like, the ingredients of this meal? Why does he feel like I fought for it? I fought for my life to make this meal. <laughs> Blood, sweat, and tears went into that meal. Walk the dog. Oh, nah. He might fall out, bruh. Especially if it's hot. I really couldn't believe how realistic this suit felt, but it made sense as this suit was designed for healthcare professionals to learn lifting. Oh wait, hold on, chat. Let me go ahead and take notes, bro. What website is this? Why I can't see the name, bro? Answering tech. The obesity suit. Is that what we gotta get? Of larger size patients. Katie, you ready? Hey, how many lights? Matter of fact, I'm asking in how many lights we get for me to order the suit. What do you think? You look really cute. Yeah. Yeah. Stop it. Would you still be married to me? Stop it. I wouldn't divorce you. Never What's let your up? woman lie to you, bruh. I swear, if you go from a fit 150 pounds to 600, like daddy. you get done. He sounds like Stop daddy. It. She might not Did divorce you, but she's for sure going to be fucking on a n like King Zay. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Come here. Don't be sh Are you nervous? It's hard to even bend down and like pet your dog. I can't even imagine being like a parent. <laughs> How do and they not lose weight? Down to, like, right, it's because they don't walk, kids. bro. You gotta think. They're not always walking with that 400 pounds. Like he mobile. Do I reckon? He's yeah. probably the most one of the most active 600 pound lifers right now. Come here. Say those suits go for one to three thousand. Yes, Jack. Y'all go. If y'all want me to do this, bro, y'all might have to blow this video up. Y'all forget. Will sold his soul to Diddy, so he's rich. I'm not, and I'm not selling my soul to get rich. That's just not happening. There's a whole lot more of me to love now. There certainly is. It'd be hard she to don't even know how to hug him. Damn! She ain't never hugged no okay. big. Take Shotty, he's the, he's yeah. the. Oh my god, I'm sweating she so much. She didn't even know bad. how to. It's just too crazy. Oh, nah, come on, bro. I think you should pick that up. I'm I ain't gonna lie, I know fat. Bro, looking me. kinda scrumptious. You hell, bro. You hell, bro. I know fat. Uh, they, uh. I know they girls stay smacking their ass. I'm already knowing, bro. Same thing like they, they just they just be all out there, bro. I think you should. Pick I know they get hit on the daily. No diddy. You, are you serious right now? What? Uh, We're walking the dog. Might be the so walk the, the dog. Okay, okay, but move crazy. Okay, fine. Damn. Oh my god. You okay? It's getting really hard to walk. And I don't even actually have the weight on me. But my cuddle game is strong. Oh baby. Yeah. This would definitely be a lot easier for me if I had rollerblades, and instead of a mini schnauzer, we'd a husky. What do you nice. mean? Because then you could just run and I'd just be dragging. All right, you take over. You're done? Yeah. How does every old beast What if he poops? You pick it up, man. That's Nothing the method, changed, bro. I, I don't know. To head out into the they always got a wife and sometimes kids. Challenge. I don't I'm know. I'm not in the mood for an extreme game of so I think we're just going to Uber. Uber XL it. <laughs> Hello. Hello. How are you? Might just need a couple minutes Is here. Is he going to be a... Okay. <laughs> God, no, is he gonna be able to fit? Oh, I'm, I'm, okay. I'm gonna get ad block next stream, though. Next stream, I promise. I know I said that last stream, but I mean it. Oh, Maybe. I can't do a seatbelt. I don't need it. I brought a fan with me. <laughs> 
We're at the gym, as you can tell. Yeah, lots of looks right now. You, so that's fine. Ability, you don't see a lot of 600 pound people at the gym. That's probably because it's, it's tiring, just, got no more hope. probably pretty painful. But also a big reason is there's probably a big fear of being judged rejected by people around you, which causes these people to avoid social situations altogether. Don't go out to That's eat with your friends, don't go to the mall, and not even come to the yeah. gym. So, but it would make um, you, wouldn't you want to just work out so you can go outside though? Like, but I get it. You be ashamed, making fun of you, calling you a 2PN member, so. I document my experience, yeah, and like uh, we'll see how it goes. Oh, nah. Oh. Twin, the last thing you need to be hitting is legs. Bro. You already got what you need, what you got, bro. This is as deep as I go can go. Go hit some cardio or something. Get, the get off the waist, Blake. Chill out on the I'm waist, Blake. I would not be happy with that depth. All right. Now getting up is more of the challenge. Here we go. Oh, nah. <sighs> The one thing that's a good advantage about being obese is your your bench, your bar path is blessed. Look how I just received the bar, it just sinks in. Yeah. Boom. Boom. So we got two big ass cushions. Give me 315. Let's go. I know he can bench press a minimum 215. It is me. Like I just said, 215. Nice to meet you, man. Give me a back slap. There we go. Oh yeah, I know you felt that bad. Damn! Okay, D! Five, 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 five. Yeah, All right. Now that, I ain't gonna, I gotta shake your hand for that one, boy. Now I ain't gonna lie, if I see a like this doing 315, I'm immediately hey, scared, bro. Look what I'm dealing with. Cause you a hybrid. You hiding muscle under that suit. Stabilizing you myself on the bench because I'm literally triple the width of the bench. What's your thoughts when you see an obese person in the gym? I think they're making a change for the better. I, I ain't gonna lie. People, if you cooking a fat it kind of motivates you, it doesn't disgust you. No. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey, it, motivates it motivates you, yeah. Why do you guys like think it's so years hard years for obese people to come to the gym and start working out? When I started going to the gym, I was also like very fat, right? Yeah. So I think it's like more like what other people think about me. Just looking at you, I'm not gonna lie. I was like, this gotta be both tennis. You look a little <laughs> sus. I'm oh, you know it was me? Okay. Yeah, I look a little sus. I took the ball too far, man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Why do you think it'd be hard for an obese person to start coming to the gym working out? Mostly, I think they are not motivated. So if yeah. you see an obese person, do you think that what they're lazy? Think, do you think they're uh, unmotivated? I feel like it's Maybe they are not motivated. Here Maybe their schedule are just, like, busy. Do Sometimes, yeah. yeah. That will be the reason. Right. Maybe. So if you saw an obese person in the gym, yeah. what do you think? Might be you had some medical reason to join the gym, gym and yeah, might be the like work. there are people who set the goal like I want to get lean and yeah they are seeing someone and yeah maybe so they're not getting met, motivated like I don't do body shaming but uh, I will ask what's the reason of getting fit like, then might be there is like some well, obese is, reasons right. and I say it. so yeah obese is crazy crazy though i get some people can definitely be bigger than other people but obese now obese oh are we talking about obesity obcd i feel like yeah cap bro like nigga obese is crazy bro like i think like i get being overweight but obese is when basically over overweight you know what i mean super duper overweight that's all if you guys ever seen an obese person coming just, to the gym, I mean, what goes through your mind? But obesity, uh, I think they're just trying to better themselves, I'll be honest, yeah. right? Putting the work out. So you look at it as a positive thing, you don't, yeah, you don't, you don't seem like disgusted or... No, no, of yeah. Course. yeah, yeah. What's your thoughts on obese people? Um, I think obese people, they're okay, but they should try to get better and get into the gym. Nah, they're, they're okay. They don't know their While body, I can use some of the machines, many though. of them were just not possible. So they lose track, exactly! A nigga like me, bro, I get on track, but I get focused okay, back up. You know what I mean? That's they fault. <laughs> the choice among your body. That's what I'm saying. If they would, you can think about it like this. Couple things if I they wanted to make a change, people they are would, looking at me, me? But they in one of two ways. The First one is they'll see me and, and then the be like, the what? And then they'll start smiling it. like it's kind of funny. And the other one is, they'll walk by me, look at me, and then try to look away as fast as humanly possible. They don't make any eye contact yeah, with me whatsoever. To, they don't try to the other thing is, like trying out all these machines is very discouraging. Like, first of all, I can barely fit into anything. And even in the things I can fit in, kind of, I can't actually do the motion because I'm so limited with my body, especially when just like everything in your life is difficult. It's just another yeah, stressor to add on top of it. So I can't even imagine, you know, just like what people of this That's have to go through to get in yeah, shape. Right. It's, it's crazy. Look at this sweat stain. You know what I mean? 
crazy. I'm also like, why are people recognizing me? Why? That's concerning. Concerning. Why are people recognizing me? Why? That's concerning. A lot of obese people, you know, they say that it's hard for them to come to the gym because they feel like people are watching them. Yeah. You know, they don't feel comfortable. Can you can you see that? I have heard like some stories of like, really people making them feel uncomfortable, staring, right. judging yeah. their form. Right. Right. Like, like the gym doesn't need that type of like, negativity. Do you think it's mostly like, the younger kids that are doing that? Like the, like Snapchatting and like. You know, taking a video. Some people like film like that's, that's, people. That's actually true. Yeah. Like, you see how old he's working out. You take a video. Right. Tell I've had friends tell me like they've seen like kids like laughing at. Yeah. It's pretty bad. Yeah. Wow, that's free. Ah, damn, Twin Ant can't even get a sip. Twin Ant can't even take one D to get a sip. Hon honestly, f we f that. <laughs> For the most part, it feels we like most people walk out of these people in the gym, but I wanted to hear from someone who's actually been on the other side. I contacted 26 year old Brentley, who at his heaviest was 575 pounds. Damn. Just want to say, like, congrats on all the weight loss. Yeah. It's Thank over 200 pounds, right? Oh. 130. Climb it up for Twitter! Wow. God, no! Just starting going. You need to tell that down a What was that experience like for you? It was very anxiety inducing and going there the and seeing, I've seen no you know, all the other people had been there for quite a while. They were in good shape and like I kind of felt embarrassed. Did people's perceived opinions like of you affect how you saw yourself? Definitely, yes. I get a lot of comments about how I looked, about how, you know. Uh, my neck was too big and I looked like a frog or I'd get Peter Damn. Griffin or Damn. all sorts of Peter stuff. Griffin? Instead of using an Uber again to get oh, around, what is this I used angle? To use public transportation to see if I could get more unwanted attention. Oh, no. This kid keeps staring. Yeah. Ah, yeah. What's up, man? Yeah, I see. Damn, this is really eye-opening, bro. I never, I never really thought of this. Damn, it's pretty crazy. To go outside just to get Where I'm judged go, from going out. I cause a big scene. I step on the bus. I cause a scene. And I walk yeah, into the gym. I cause a scene. Me. It's pretty uncomfortable, especially if you're somebody who just likes to keep it low key. All eyes are on you, no matter where you go. I can definitely feel some sort of embarrassment because I'm taking up pretty much two full seats. And I really don't want to. And I feel like people would look at you and be like, oh, this guy's lazy, he's inconsiderate because he's taking more than one chair up, but you really but have no need choice. It. He need it. He got two, 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 two twin, twin beds back there. Hey, what, what, uh, what I want to say, what I want to say. <laughs> better that ass seem better than two bunk beds. Oh, she think big, she a uh, cornbread. Nah, laughing Holy is crazy. <laughs> Wait, my fault, my fault, my fault. We are at the mall. Laughing is crazy. And I am on a mission. Going straight to hell, bro. And I have three things that I need to do. One, I gotta find <laughs> no, a date night. I only laugh because of what no, you said, my boy. Don't stop it. I'm calling a date night. Why the f is she taking my like KDL for a fun bro, date at the arcade? Wilding, bro. Two, to hell, I want to see if I can find a workout outfit because I'm a bigger person aspiring to get in shape. We'll see if there's options for me. And three, bro, it's no well, eight x. I don't know how to twin found eight x pants. Means. It's twelve o'clock. Yeah, let's go. Is the guy he reminded of the Steve's me? I need a break from walking in. Do you guys have 8XL pants? 8XL? That's not real. What's so funny about that? He's laughing too! Oh, nah, come on, bro. You just start laughing. Nah, this is bad. This is bad. You don't think this you have 8XL? Bad. Like, these are all the trash. <laughs> oh, this dude is not even okay. real. That's why he laughing. I was wondering, why'd you laugh? Hmm? Why'd you laugh? <laughs> <laughs> come on, bro! No, I thought you were. Because when I see someone else smile, I usually do. Nigga, I'm not lying! No? Okay. Yo, boy, hit that! Alright, thank you. I see XL, I see XL. Anything on Nog Yankee to Taylor? Real. I think that's the biggest that we've got. Yankee only order online. And yeah, as you can see. Ain't no going, ain't no in store shopping. No that's going around one of my legs. Maybe. On to the next door. I would have sat on, bro. Double X. Men's Double X, Triple X. Yeah, you're not finding XL. So these are the only XL options. And you 8XL, you not. If you're 8XL, you're not looking for workout clothes, bro. Let's keep it a stack, chat. You might as well, bro, just work out with, with the shirt off, you know what I mean? Might as well buy blankets to make them into clothes. Russia.
That's crazy. These are the only that's two crazy. men's active things. Oh, wait, he actually, wait. Black cell, nothing. Oh, that's, oh, that's three eggs, it's three eggs. But not, just two sweaters. I think that we may have to go over to the bedding section. Bring <laughs> no way motions called it, though. <laughs> There's no way you just called it, though, bro. There's no way you just called it. Bring togas back in style. Bro, literally just option. said you might have to go to go get some uh, blankets. Holy f I'm dying. How would you say your experiences back in the day, like going to the mall, going shopping for clothes? Oh yeah, it was um, really difficult. I remember going to Walmart this time, and I walked just like from the parking lot into the little eggs, entryway, and I got so out of breath that I needed to lean on a shelf. And then as I walked around, I kept needing to lean on things. I couldn't uh -huh. even walk all the way around my neighborhood to get some steps in without leaning on the mailboxes. That's Crazy. literally what happened to me in the video going into Walmart. Bro, this to, like, is so eye-opening, bro. And I had to just like, lean over on like one of the clothing racks because I was just out of breath. Really? It's crazy. It's <laughs> yeah. Wow. It's a scary feeling. Like, uh, did you ever get claustrophobic in that? Because like, I know I felt claustrophobic underneath all the fat, and I couldn't even take it off. I had just like this like overwhelming feeling of heat and like heat. sweat. Yes. It was just, it was killing oh me. Oh my God. I basketball shorts and sleeveless shirts in the winter. I couldn't wear a jacket, I'd be all sweaty. Wow. What? Probably the most uncomfortable- Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, hold on. I couldn't wear a jacket, I'd be all sweaty. Wow. This nigga will be about to laugh! Will, you are not slick! This nigga was about to laugh, bruh! Look at his face! Look, bro, look at this face, bruh! You are not slick, Will! <laughs> Yo, I had no, bro. Probably the most uncomfortable experience I've ever had at the mall. Everyone's looking at me like, why is this dude not at the food court? I'm confused. It's because I'm trying He's to shop for clothes. Sold. Is Literally. that so crazy? Right now, these people are here laughing at me. It's kind of, hello. Yeah, bro, this is, yeah, this is making it's me actually feel kind of sad. I got a lot of stares. I noticed I would uh, enter a place and immediately everyone would look at me, sort of. I went to this park to get a walk-in and uh, this preschool teacher had all these kids around and the teacher sort of scolded the kids, said, hey, don't stare at him. And the kids said, but he's so big. It really did sort of hurt the heart. And <laughs> but yeah, I just played it off. I feel like I'm just like this one big joke, this spectacle. No one really cares to respect me. And it's just really surprising. It's probably the least human I think I've ever felt. Like a damn circus animal. <laughs> come, come on, bro. Like, I, I, did they get a pass because they kids? Like, come on, bro. Did you have to say that, bro? Do you guys have any um, plus size sad. section? No. No? So what's like the biggest no, size? But it's saying that like I said, bro. How do you let yourself get that big? Extra large. So is there anything that you could show me for an no. outfit? No. Uh, no, 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 unfortunately. No? no. Okay. We only have XS and X, uh, the regular XS and X. Uh, for regular? XL, yeah. For regular people? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. I wonder why do you think yeah. that uh, fashion is so minimal for people Probably my size? the most accepting version of society. Crazy. I don't know exactly, but because it's a, I mean, big corporation, yeah. so they normally invest on the, I mean, regular size stuff. So you need to go, for example, to the specific outlets that's uh, for bigger, for big uh, size. Yeah. Okay. We, which I don't know. It's really looking like my mission is going to be a complete failure. Nothing is even close to the size that I need. I think my best option is to use a sharpie and draw a tie on my shirt that I'm currently wearing. Hi, how are you? Scammer. For two? Yeah. Can we do a booth? Uh, yeah. For two? Thank you. Is he talking about himself? Oh, are you talking about him and a cameraman? <laughs> what do you mean uh, for two, bro? Really huh? I don't think I'm gonna fit. <laughs> no. Sorry about that. Thank you. No. 
no. wooden chairs is a big thing. No. Just the other day I was at my father's place. He offered me a seat and there was a wooden one and there was a metal one. And he offered me the wooden one first and I said, I'll take the metal one because I, it's probably oh, strong enough breaking. to hold me. And I'm like, I'm probably not heavy enough to break the wooden chair anymore, but like, I used to be, and that's still in my head, and it's still. Damn, weird, it's not even funny. Really it's like more embarrassing than breaking damn. another person's chair. Not gonna lie, I thought it was gonna really break. embarrassing that I can't even. If there fit are any more fees in a booth, come over when you there, sit make in sure booth. no buck, yo, chill, And then there's chill, other people chill, around. Chill. Well, Jordan, you ain't then, even beat the story time. I'm up. Yeah, you really just feel like you're always on watch. So I asked this the server crazy, bro. to give me whatever you want. Bro, bro, what y'all think, bro? Bro, it's like, bro, you already know, bro. It's not even what you think. The server gonna give this. The fattest meal on the menu, bro. We all know this. Like, come on. We're gonna see me as someone who needs a diet. Somebody who's eating myself to death. Oh, damn. Nah, giving him a side of this crazy work. <laughs> if a just walk in and say, give me whatever you want, and you give him a salad, bro, that's... I don't know which one's more wicked, bro. The fattest meal or the salad. Or is she just gonna see me as a regular customer giving me her favorite thing on the menu? We'll find out. Why well, live well, Loki? Why well, will Loki look like a like a lesbian, Loki? You can walk in the mid bathroom. No, no. So when that look like he dyking, Loki? I'm beginning to kind of like really starting to believe that. that. Ain't bad, I'm like right. super gross. By but what y'all think, bro? Like y'all think he's gonna get regular right food like or the salad? So bad. And these are the reasons why these people like how much you stay at that, home. That brown drink she gave. Social situations he gave his ass diet coke. People have to do better, man. We have like to do better. Like, seriously. I was uh, living in my grandmother's basement at the time, and I just like really withdrew from basically all my friendships, all my activities that I like to do on the side. You know, it was pretty much just alone down there. Why do you feel like obese people are seen as like yeah, lesser weight? than like, in like the general public. I think Maybe there's a general heavy, idea heavy that uh, uh -huh. we put ourselves in this situation that we eat our way up to that and we, you know, are lazy to this point. But I find that a lot of bigger people tend to, you know, shy you. away from Six healthy eating because they feel like it would I just know, be bro. more miserable than the way they are right. now. Oh, you got me an appy? Hell yeah. Oh, appetizers? Thank you very much. Oh, she blessed them. Do people get appetizers for lunch? Do people get appetizers for lunch? I wait 220 game. I need... I'm okay with that. <laughs> well, wait, how tall are you, though, Twin? Hell... You said, <laughs> Twin talking about, I weigh 220, I need to calm down. But chat, my bill, I ain't gonna lie, no diddy, no diddy, no diddy. I low-key do got like a petite bill. No diddy! I got like a petite bill, bro. You feel me? I gotta keep it like this. I'm trying to get a little stronger, but you feel me? You ain't 6'8", your chair is taller. Shut the f*** up, nigga. How you gonna tell me my height, nigga? What? What? We know you're 5'9"? Yo, what's up with the... Yo, come on, bro. What do I gotta do to prove that I'm 6'8", bro? I'm dead 6'8". Yeah. I can't be 6'8", 170? But I don't know if people get... Is that impossible? Yeah, I was 6'1 when I was, what, 5th grade? Important to be prepared because you don't yeah, want to regrets. Grade. Like, you don't want to... 5th grade, 6th grade. Then I hit my growth spurt. Mm. Stand next to your fridge. Okay, man. I'll do that. Thank you. Ooh, what do we got? We here? can do that when I do a cooking stream. Chicken shrimp. quesadilla and fries. Yeah. What, what was the reason? What was the chicken, reason behind this choice? Chicken quesadilla and fries. Oh, that's not a fat meal. That's decent. Oh, because it's my favorite. It's your favorite. It's your favorite. Okay. Try it. That lady. I believe her. Is the cutest thing in the world. I love her. It's your favorite thing. A quesadilla. How it tasted. I swear, my favorite foods were just what I'm currently eating. Are you guys with me? I think you're with me. Holy shit, that's good. That's some gravy. Mm. Oh, you go, girl. It's good. Yes, you yeah. like it? Mm -hmm. Dab good. it. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Go, go. A little friendly date night competition at the arcade. What do you say? Oh, God. Down. Yeah. yeah. I feel like Here the skills are going to tilt in my they favor for all these shorty, games. Bruh. No pun intended. It's so crazy because, no, genuinely, bro, a nigga with this bill will still have a girlfriend and your ass will still be single. Like, so, so serious. Like, it so serious. for DDR. Why? Because I got DDR, good dance moves? I don't know if I might break this. What is machine. DDR? How does it feel walking with me? Like I'm walking with you normally. Yeah, you do. Oh, women, I don't. All right. I'm about to say I hate women, but I, I genuinely don't. I love all my petites. 
But I hate why women be lying. Bro, that, that does not feel like you're walking with him normally. Like, they be trying to spare your feelings. And then next thing you know, they sucking on another <laughs> Like, why? Like, why? Like, bro, she know the, bro, the in a fact too. Just tell the truth, bro. What the f is she talking about? GTA RP? Like, why is she role playing right now, my You're walking with me. What's the point in lying? I'm walking with you normally. Yeah, you no, know, no different. You don't feel like you're like cheating a bit. You take it up. <laughs> you take it up the entire parking lot. Like, what do you mean, Shotty? Hey, yo, case, you walking with Case, or you not walking with Will Diddy? Come on, huh? Oh my God, bro. What do you at? It's like brick after brick right here. They called me free throw in high school, but I guess for a different reason. But... Buckets after buckets. Team over. Ah. I won. Holy shit, I got three. I got 24. Damn. My belly is getting so in the way. So you might have to take the lead here. That motherfuckers. I'm like legitimately handicapped. I can't even shoot the Banshee. Oh, oh shit. Ah! It's actually kind of hot watching you do this, baby. Yeah, you like that? Yeah. yeah. That bitch ass. There were many moments at the arcade where my size just got in the way of enjoying my date with Katie. Sad, bro. <laughs> How did we just go from? Yeah, you like that? Yeah. Stop, bitch. Yeah. Look it up. Having fun. There were many. <laughs> he broke the chair. <laughs> bro, this <laughs> really broke the arcade. Chair. Moments at the arcade where my size just got in the way of enjoying my date with Katie. Games we yeah. played together, I couldn't because I couldn't fit in the machine, which caused me to just watch her play on. Her bro, come on, bro. Like, chat. Keep it real. You IRL, bro. I know I keep. I know I keep pausing, but chat. You having fun with your girl in the arcade, bruh. <laughs> <laughs> you turn the corner with your girl and you see this build, bruh. What is your reaction, my n Like, bro, you. Half of y'all niggas in chat, I know y'all gonna bust the smirk, bruh. I don't I'm not laughing out loud. I'm, I ain't gonna, I'm gonna hit one of these. I'm gonna turn the corner like these. I'm gonna hit one of Oh, like. My fault. Now you just got it all out there, twin. Like, come on. On our own. There's so many times today where something's happened yeah, to me that's all not out there. Waiting to get And you deal. almost kind of just want to make a joke about it to kind of fluff devious it off because the de devious questions. I'm finna hit. What you mean you gonna hit? What? You feel bad, and that's your way of coping with it. And a lot of people who are overweight. Like, you know, make jokes at their own expense to make themselves feel more comfortable. Yo, the egg, stop! They don't stop with the funny. angle, bro! And it's not fun. So if you guys laugh at a joke that they make, just realize that they're actually hurting deep down. I used to be there. I used to, I used to make jokes all the time to my friends about my weight. I felt super uncomfortable. So just know it's not coming from Where a genuine place of thinking they're being funny. They just think that that's what you want to hear. I'm about to start an earthquake. Here we go. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, he's killing it though. Hold on. And we gon' make you lose your mind. I'm just jumping. Oh my god, man. The extra weight is killing me. Literally. There's oh, no way I can play. Get the f out of there. What are you doing, bro? Get out the box, bro. What are you doing, bro? Get up out the box, bro. Every you single break the box too. pretty much that I want to play. And she gonna say, I and, and we're gonna hit that and be like, bro, baby, are you comfortable? Uh, baby, do you feel uncomfortable around me sitting in this box? No, I feel normal. There can't fit, or I'm hindered by my stuck. body. So even though I'm like, trying mean? to have a good time, it's just a constant reminder of like my situation, which kind of sucks. And have you noticed anything today, like just like being here? Oh well, yeah, I mean like these kids right here are just staring a lot. Okay? Yeah. Everyone's looking. It's hard to to see and to be around. Yeah, and I feel like it's taking me back to when I was younger in high school because all I cared about were like kind of like how people saw me, like eyes on me, because I was I was uncomfortable with my skin. And just seeing people look at me and feeling kind of weird about it, and it's making me Shit, feel that again, you, which okay. is strange. One day I just had a moment where I woke up from this cloud fog I was in where I didn't realize how fat I was. And I literally went into such a panic that I tried to literally rip the fat off my body with my bare hands and that Okay, it was getting deep. Nah, no jokes, it's getting deep, it's getting deep. It didn't work, so I just, day by day, it was... Well, how did he go about ripping the fat? I, I don't, I don't, I never mind. Just this desire to be out of this. 
to other I people who were in your Someone position. Do you have anything you want to say to them? I saw that video. I saw that a video. lot of people are tempted to make big changes. I saw that video too. Just take it day by day. First, I started, you know, not eating past six, and then so I started. He ate all his food and his mom overpacked. <laughs> Chat, I said no jokes, bro. Bro, let's be serious. What the fuck you mean? The kid, uh, mom overpacked his lunch box. He ate it all, bro. Chill, bro. Chill, bro. Chill. It, not drinking soda. You know, I switched to diet soda, and I, I started counting calories, and that really took me off. Stay calm and keep going. Amazing. And has your confidence been growing on this journey as well? Oh. Amazing. And has your confidence been growing on this journey? We'll try not to laugh again! Oh, Look yeah, at that! Definitely. I used to be super shy, super soft-spoken and quiet. I barely spoke at all, and now I'm like getting very much more like easily excited. I, I jump around. That's amazing. I'm proud of you, man. That's, that's amazing. Thanks. Spending 24 hours yeah, in an obese yeah, suit yeah. was tough, and it opened my eyes oh, to just yeah. how challenging yeah, everyday life can be at 600 crazy. pounds. Chill, but here's bro. the thing. When the day was over, mm -hmm. I got to take the suit off. But for many people, this is their reality, and they can't just step away from it. Remember, the right. words we say to others rip, and even the way we look at each other can have but a huge impact. For we should all strive to encourage, uplift, and That's generally be the best for everyone. And don't understand Let's be how kinder, they get. more compassionate, and supportive. Because we're all in this together. <laughs> Let's keep spreading positivity. Yeah, let's keep spreading positivity, chat. Why bro flops looking like pancakes? Hold on, go back. <laughs>